What's going on guys? I decided today I was going to do a quick kind of shop vlog update, you know, go through some of the stuff that I've been working on. Now my normal job has become a lot more demanding over the last couple of weeks, so I haven't gotten a whole lot done, but I've got a ton of projects going on. Some things that I'm doing as recording, some things I'm not doing as a video. So let's kind of just walk through it so I can show you guys what's going on right now. So this is one that I am not recording. This is the car that I purchased for my wife for um, an anniversary, I think it was two years ago now, we're coming up on two years it's a 1929 uh, mercedes replica it's a pretty cool car it's a pretty fun car uh, it gets a lot of attention but it sits a lot it hasn't been driven much and the water pump went bad when i drove it over here uh, it was leaking so i just did the water pump i got everything laid out over here and uh, it was a very difficult job to do. I had to take out a ton of stuff in order to do this water pump, and I didn't expect that. So I've been kind of doing that. It's a 1929 Gazelle is what this is. So it's a pretty unique car, and uh, if you guys know what it's um, designed after, it's a very famous car that is a very valuable car, and it's a car that I would love to have the original, but the replica is what I could afford. So this is what I'm working on right now. This is a car that I am very excited about finishing up. I've been doing a lot of things here and there. And the main reason why I haven't gone real fast with this lately is because I'm debating on how I want to put it together, how I want to design it, and there's a lot of work involved in just laying things out. But you can see I've started to put a lower lip on there. I've got a lot of different wheels on there because I have to roll it around, and some of the rims were getting low on air, so I'd pull them off. But that's where I'm at with the wide body. This is the wide body uh, Mercedes SL. This is a 1991 Mercedes 500 SL, if you guys don't know. Uh, check out the uh, videos on that. Then this is my W140. It is very dirty right now to the extreme. We have a lot of pollen. Uh, some of that's just sawdust from the shop that I share with. And I've gotten a lot pulled out on this. So I've done a lot. I've got the uh, trunk from the parts car on there. And I'm working on a video right now, hopefully going to be out very soon, where I'm going to start pulling out all these dents, and we should have a lot of it done. It should be about 90% there. So that's that. And uh, yeah, let's walk over here, because I've got the Porsche 944 over here. I ceramic coated this. I did a paint correction when I purchased it. It's been a little over a year now, and my God, the paint looks so good. All I did was spray this down, and you can see in the sun, just how nice that looks and this was a terrible paint job that I had to try to bring back to life uh, the owner before me got it painted and he was super unsatisfied with it. he paid a lot of money and it had a ton a ton of orange peel uh, it was a lot of runs and stuff like that a lot of overspray that I still got to fix but I love this car it is such a joy to drive it grabs so much attention on the road and it's very unique it's got the pop-up headlights which is what I really really wanted and this is a car that I've wanted for a long time and finally got one. And I love the way this car looks. Still have some things I'm going to do with it. We're going to be doing side skirts on it. And uh, I don't know, I might change out the rims, but I really, really like these rims. So probably stick with those. So that's about it, guys. I just want to do a quick update, show you guys what was going on. Oh, and the mini truck. I'm waiting on the title for that, so I'll do some videos on that in the upcoming days here, or upcoming videos at least. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week. I'll catch you on the next video, which should be out soon.